I can't believe you're still here. Hi guys! Yay, we're back! I know I took a long Christmas break. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But we're back. 2019, a new year. A year for your English course. Yeah! All right, okay. Are you ready? Today we have four crazy idioms with four very funny animals and uh, well, the sentences are easy, but it's sort of difficult to understand when you have a donkey or a duck in a sentence that should not have animals in it. All right, okay. Let's... We haven't seen each other in donkey's years. In donkey's years. Hmm. Whatever that may be. <laughs> That's our first idiom. Okay, so donkeys are one of my favorite animals. And the ears, you know, donkey's ears, right? Long, fluffy, um, beautiful ears. Okay, so we don't really know where the idiom uh, in donkey's ears come from, but uh, we believe that it comes from uh, the rhyming between ears and years, okay? So donkey's ears are long, and so uh, we sort of believe that this could have come uh, from there. There is another idea, and that's that because donkeys live uh, long, uh, it, it's something that's connected to that. But if you say, I haven't done something in donkey's years, not ears, years, okay? It means for a very, very long time. And this is true for us. We haven't seen each other in donkey's years, right? That's our first idiom of today. And today we have four idioms with four different animals. So yeah, donkeys off our list. We have a list of four animals. We have donkey, fish, turkey and ducks. Ducks. Boo. All right. Okay. So, in donkey's years means for a very long time. All right. But before I scheduled my first lesson with you guys today, I needed to put my ducks in a row. And you see Suzanne putting little the little yellow rubber ducks in a, in a row. No, 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 no. I don't have ducks. All right. I haven't started... Um, a farm or I haven't moved to the countryside. No, I have no ducks. Ducks are very sweet though. Um, when you say you need to have or to put your ducks in a row, it means organize your stuff, organize your things, um, get organized, get everything in order. And this is what I had to do be be before our first lesson. Um, the beginning of the year was, uh, yeah, I, so exciting and so many things had, ha had happened so I I needed time and I'm so happy that you guys are here with me and that we can study together again so uh, put or get or have your ducks in a row organize your stuff and this is what I needed to do okay um, ducks are off our list in donkey's ears to put or to get or to have your ducks in a row um, all right, okay. Um, I think this course is going to be a whole different kettle of fish. So, if you know the meaning of the word kettle, you imagine the container in which you boil water, okay? It's cold outside and we have a lot of uh, tea and we boil the water in a kettle. All right, but this is not the kettle I mean when I say a different kettle of fish. All right, a uh, kettle is also um, a sort of long uh, pan in which you can fry things or in which you can put things in the oven. Okay, long um, flat uh, container in which you can cook something, and this is. Uh, the meaning of kettle in the sentence, a different kettle of fish. So, 
I want this course to be different. I want to interact with you guys. I want to hear more from what you need. I want to uh, make sure that my friends in Spain, hi guys, I miss you, um, that my ex-students here in Italy, that all my students around the world can tell me what they want and how they want the, le the next lesson to be. And um, I was so grateful for all your messages last year. I want more. I want more. So let me know, send me a message, text me, email me, leave me a comment below because I want this course to be a whole completely different kettle of fish. I want it to be different, okay? So when we say a different kettle of fish, what we mean is something completely different. Okay? Are you with me? All right? Three out of four. Okay, in donkey's ears for a very long time, um, a different kettle of fish, something completely different, entirely different. Put or get your or have your ducks in a row. And last but not least, um, I don't really have any habits that I wanted to quit or any, um, I don't know, uh, Luckily, I'm not addicted to anything. But we say go turkey or go cold turkey. Not go turkey, nobody goes turkey. Go cold turkey when um, we want to say quit something immediately, stop something immediately. Okay? Um, it is used more frequently with things like um, smoking or alcohol or, I don't know, excessive intake of sugar. But you can use it with anything, you know. Go cold turkey, decide to quit, decide to stop uh, on a sport immediately. So I wanted to add this one to our list, not only because it has an animal in it, a turkey, um, but also because I know that um, January is a month of New Year's resolution for almost everybody. And if your New Year's resolution is to quit smoking, for instance, you might uh, consider going cold turkey stopping just immediately okay if you smoke you know what i'm talking about um but i want a positive new year's resolution for you guys and that could be let's study english together all right but seriously like let's commit to that every week let's find a moment to watch the videos to study and sort of put in practice the idioms, the vocabulary, the grammar that we study together. I am excited to be here with you guys. I couldn't wait. I'm, I'm so happy that we're back. And I wish you a fantastic rest of your day. Um, I will be here next week to see you again. And please let me come, let me know, let, leave me comments, let me know what you want to study. And um, remember to smile and to enjoy your English lessons. Bye for now.